Hey everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome back to Sandy Writes. Today we're going to be talking about something that's very exciting to me. This is an advanced reader copy of Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. And I've been so excited for this book. Um, I was obsessed with Caraval, I was obsessed with Legendary. I was slightly less obsessed with Finale, but there was still good content in there. So I was given this advanced reader copy in exchange from, in exchange from, in exchange for an honest review from NetGalley, so let's begin. So this book was pure magic and I was so frustrated when it ended. It might be about to become one of my favourite Stephanie Garber books of, I'm going to say of all time. I think not quite legendary levels but above Caraval. It's like top two, top two. Um, I think no one does magical details quite like she does and the world building and the magic system in this book was like a prime example of that. It's set in the same world as the Caraval series and it features a few cameos from the cast but it's mostly brand new characters and it explores a whole new part of the world. And I think I should break this review down into the two main characters. So our first main character who is a completely new character is Evangeline Fox. She is underrated for this book and I fell in love with her from the first page. She's full of heart and unrequited love and bad decisions and she's a narrator unlike anyone else from your average fairy tale. Her desperation for a happy ending leads her to make a bargain with Jax, but she believes that it might turn out for the best. Her brief like, spell of naivety in the beginning and the hope that she has all throughout the book is something that I thoroughly enjoyed reading, mostly because it reminded me a bit of myself. Our second like, big important character is Jax, the Prince of Hearts, and you know that he is a returning character to the series. He's a character that I fell in love with in the original series and I couldn't wait to read more about in the future, especially when I heard about this book and that it might be about him. This man is everything I love in the villain and I do have a soft spot for many villains. He's secretive and snarky and shady and he's got a softer side that's hidden deep, deep down that we do catch a glimpse of. His purpose is to cause problems on purpose, but there's a moment where it seems like he still wants to find his true love and have his heart beat again. He's using Evangeline for personal gain and we're drip fed this little storyline throughout the book and I was just clinging on to every word. Yeah, I can't tell if I sound ill or I'm just talking in a weird voice because this room is very echoey and I don't quite know what to do with that yet. I think my only downfalls for this book, because I don't want to give away too much about plot spoilers right now because it is very spoilery, my only downfalls would be the pacing felt a little uneven in some points. The beginning was quite slow and the ending moved at the speed of light. Um, Evangeline and Jax were definitely the most developed and vivid characters out of the cast. The other characters were more there just to fill a purpose more than anything else, which I can't be too mad about, but they felt very one-dimensional. This didn't really negatively impact my enjoyment of the book too greatly, except that cliffhanger ending, because I was just so in love with all the good points. Overall, this book is an experience like no other, not even the Caramel series, and it's a spellbinding fairy tale that swept me away and I was enthralled to read it from the very first page. I gave this book 4 stars on NetGalley, I might tentatively give it like a little 4.5 but I did rate it as 4 stars. And this is a very short review, I have so much to say but it's all so much, so very spoilery so I'm not going to go into it now. I'm just going to keep it in my head and my heart forever and ever. So that's all I have to say about this book. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.